How are we doing, meteorologist Steve Fandero here. All right, there's a lot of weather going on around us, but we are going to escape this weekend pretty okay. We'll get a couple showers and thunderstorms Sunday afternoon. The weather is actually shaping up quite nicely, moving into the 4th of July. So a few clouds moving in tonight. Tower Cam 10 shaking a little bit. There's that nice tropical breeze to kind of combat the humidity we've had today. It was toasty. A few showers and thunderstorms out towards uh, the west of us are fading, and then some showers to the south of us are fading. They kind of got thrown at us uh, by Tropical Storm uh, Colin today and this evening. Kind of got thrown at us just because the system is very, very unorganized. It's swirling uh, just south of Wilmington as we speak, and it is going to cruise right along uh, the Outer Banks pretty much between now and and Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. It'll be over Hatteras. The center of low pressure will be over Hatteras Sunday afternoon. So those tropical storm warnings are up in place pretty much from the northern outer banks down along uh, the outer banks all the way down towards Hatteras. So essentially, you'll get some tropical downpours thrown your way kind of on and off or at least in passing, and it's going to be breezy. You'll notice some wind gusts occasionally to 40 miles an hour. Most of the rain and wind with the system will be offshore because it's so organized. So you'll still be able to get out and enjoy uh, the, the day on our Sunday, but there'll be a passing shower downpour. There'll be that occasional wind gust that may blow the umbrella out on the beach. And use some caution if you're jumping in the water. At least do so during, uh, at least do so near the lifeguards as the rip current risk will be elevated. There'll be some rough surf, primarily from Manio, Naxat Manio. Uh, to the south. And really, this is a relationship between Tropical Storm Colin and the Outer Banks. Minimal impacts for Hampton Roads. We may see a little bit of some rip current action along the oceanfront and Sandbridge, Southern Virginia Beach area for our Sunday, but we're not getting big rain from this. We're not getting big wind from this. Uh, again, primarily just that relationship between the Outer Banks and Tropical Storm Colin. So there it goes right up the coastline into our Sunday. Notice a cool front dropping in from the north. That's keeping Colin offshore. And by Sunday evening, Sunday Sunday night, that thing's moving offshore, and it's we're, we're going to say goodbye to it. But the cool front dropping in Sunday afternoon will spark a couple showers and maybe a few thunderstorms for us along Hampton Roads in the afternoon and evening showers. So not totally dry. It's still going to be unsettled for our Sunday. We'll see a few passing clouds tonight as it remains muggy. It will remain muggy and humid on our Sunday. Upper 80s, near 90, with a few showers and a couple thunderstorms in the afternoon. So tonight, the showers that are up towards the north and west of us fade. We could see a few showers from Colin thrown our way, primarily again, though, for the Outer Banks. So the rain the Outer Banks sees between now and Sunday afternoon going to be some squally kind of downpours from uh, Colin, kind of on and off. Sunday morning our across Hampton Roads looks okay. We'll get some sun for the first half of the day. By the afternoon, cool front starts to drop in. Colin is now moving away, and we'll get some showers and a couple thunderstorms to pop up. Then the breeze flips out of the north, moving into the 4th of July. This is good. It doesn't cool us off, but it clears us out. We'll have some sun, and we'll have pretty low rain chances. If anything, maybe just a stray shower early on on the 4th of July. So any of your plans for the 4th itself looking much better. Even your plans tomorrow, just keep them. Just know there'll be maybe a shower or two popping up in the afternoon. This is all good, great, and dandy because we set up a very unsettled summer-like pattern moving forward in the rest of the seven-day forecast. And there are rain chances pretty much each and every day from Tuesday through Friday with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s near 90 degrees. It's going to feel real muggy, real humid, and summer-like. So, yes, we got a couple showers around Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the sun in between. Enjoy the sun on the 4th of July before we'll need the umbrellas pretty much every afternoon or at least uh, around each and every day moving forward on the seven-day forecast. We'll have more information for you guys on air on Wavy News 10 uh, after the sporting events on Fox 43 at 10 o'clock or whenever the sports come to a close. And then we'll see you at Wave News 10 at 11 with all the latest. Catch you then.